Good morning vlog. Excuse how busted I look it. I can't even talk. Excuse how busted I look, but I've just been doing computer work all day and I actually had a lot of hopes with where my day is going. But if you guys don't know, if you didn't watch the last vlog, then you wouldn't know. But um, my laptop screen broke, so I had to bring it into Apple. It was there for only three days, which is not bad. Um, and I actually ended up fixing it for free, which is amazing. And I, I was going to say I don't know what I did to deserve that, but I do because I didn't do anything for it to break. It just stopped working. Um, so over those three days, I couldn't really film or edit videos at all. So I'm a little bit behind and I really wanted to get Instagram photos today and everything, but you guys don't understand like filming, editing, and getting Instagram photos is so hard because Instagram photos take so much time. And if you've been doing what I've been doing all day, just doing computer work, it takes like another hour to get ready, find an outfit and everything. And then next thing you know, it's dark out. I really need to figure out a plan and like set specific days for shooting content. Um, it would be fine if I wasn't backed up from all the work I had to do, but I need to edit another video after I film this intro thing um, and get that ready for upload on Friday. And I should be back in the swing of things. Okay guys, before we get any further into the vlog, I just want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Anchor. I have been using Anchor Charger for years, so this is honestly really cool that I get the opportunity to work with them. So if you don't know who Anchor is, they are America's number one USB charging brand and provide a wide range of products such as power banks, chargers, audio, and computer interface. They sent over the Anchor Nano for me to share with you guys. It's basically just a fast charging charger that is three times faster than the iPhone original five watt charger. It can charge an iPhone 11, which is what I I have up to 53% in just 30 minutes, which is honestly really iconic and groundbreaking. So as a part of their packaging, it just shows you guys here. So this is the Anchor Nano in 30 minutes will get you 53% where an original iPhone, a five watt charger, will only get you to 17%. Here is what the box, oh, box looks like on the inside. As you can see, there are four different parts I'm about to walk you guys through that come in this box. So first of all, the Nano is compact and portable. So the first plug measures just over one inch on each side, weighing about the same as a AA battery. So it's super easy and convenient to just store in your purse, your backpack, your car. Also an all-in-one because it is a USB-C plug, so it can charge all of your devices. Also, if you have or are planning on getting the iPhone 12, this is a really good option as the iPhone 12 doesn't come with the charger So this is a really good option because you get so many more cool and useful features including a 60 watt two port wall charger Which are both USB-C ports. So if you have two different USB-C Chargers you can plug them both into here and they both charge three times faster So you're not losing charges when you have multiple plugged in one thing that I think is really cool about this too Is that you can charge on multiple devices so you can do it on your iPad your AirPods a MacBook Air Apple watch iPhone Whatever it is it will charge because of the USB-C port like I could charge my MacBook through this aside from the two blocks that come in the box you also get two different cables so you get a USB-C to lightning port which is just your standard iphone charger for example i have the iphone 11 i don't have the usb-c port on my phone so if you have anything from the iphone 11 lower this is perfect um and it just has the usb-c port on the other side and it will plug into any of these but then it also comes with a usb-c to usb-c port so this is what you guys are going to be looking for if you have like the iphone 12 or if you are looking for something to charge your laptop, iPad, all of the newer products. But I really, really love that it comes with both because for me personally, I don't have the iPhone 12, so I don't have the USB-C on my phone, but I love that it comes with two different options. So I can still use the double block or the single block depending on what I need to charge for my iPhone. And I could also charge my MacBook at the same time from the same plug. So it is seriously so convenient. Another thing that is really cool Cool about the anchor nano fast charging essentials kit that i'm showing you guys is it is designed for travel so it comes with an ultra compact design that supports laptop charging and also interchangeable plugs for countries abroad such as europe which is really cool so if you just 
take off this plastic part there's a little european adapter you have to use the two port larger block you basically just have to pop this part up and this pops in like that I don't know, I'm just really stoked that it comes with that. It makes me really happy so I don't have to buy another charger if I travel. Cords are also ultra long, which if it's not this long, what is the point? Let's plug it like that. Is like a cloth cord where the other one is like the traditional iPhone material. So when I'm a lazy pig in bed, it will fit all the way over to the other side of my bed, which is awesome. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this, which you definitely should guys, because this is a really cool essentials kit. I will have this link down below along with a discount code so you guys can save some money. But thank you so much Anchor for sponsoring this video. But I just want to quickly talk to you guys about BoxyCharm. This isn't sponsored, but they did send me this for free. And I'm actually going to be kind of an ambassador for the whole year. So I'm going to be receiving a new box every single month, which is really exciting because I've never had a subscription box like this and I hear nothing but good things about them. So I just want to quickly show you guys what is in mine. So I just have the traditional BoxyCharm box which is where you pay um, $25 a month and it's an average value of over $175 you get five beauty products so that's just like the base layer for $25 which is honestly really good because if you think about it like if you're shopping on Sephora often or whatever one piece from Sephora is $25 um, so this is a really cool way to introduce yourself to new products and to just get the fun factor of getting new products that you don't know what they're going to be and to kind of review them on your own. So like I said, I have the traditional one, but there's also a luxe and premium box. I have my laptop here. I'm just reading off there. That's why because I'm on the website. Um, so the Lux box has an average value of over $395. Um, you pay $49.99 a month and you pay quarterly instead of monthly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I'm gonna do the math right now, but it's actually cheaper to do the quarterly of more. $25 times 12, so you're paying $300 a year where you can do $49.99 four times a year. So it's literally cheaper to do the Lux. You just have to pay in larger increments, but you only pay four times a year instead of every month and you get way more products. Okay, if you guys are gonna do this, do the luck. But basically, as I mentioned, you get the average value of over $395. It's $49.99 a month. You pay quarterly, you get beauty and lifestyle products. In the original box, you just get beauty. And then you get eight plus items. You can get more than eight, which is really awesome. And then you can choose up to two items. So in the BoxyCharm original, you can only choose one item. And then there's also the premium box, which you get an average value of over $215. You pay monthly, you get only beauty products like the original box. You get six to seven products in every box and you get to pick one item. The BoxyCharm subscription box is like a really cool way to have it all in 2021 because you get to try so many different products from makeup, beauty, skincare, lifestyle, whatever you're feeling. And it's really cool because you can unlock the best beauty deals because you get full size products for a fraction of the price. And it's really cool because you get to discover new brands that you didn't know about, find new products, all that stuff, which is really exciting because I'm obsessed with getting new products and testing it out. And I will definitely keep you guys updated in the vlogs with how I'm loving everything. I Let's just get into showing you guys what I got. This Pharmacy Deep, Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner with Morninga and Papaya. I love the packaging on it. This is really cute and it's like heavy too. So I know I'm going to get a decent amount of product in here. Ooh, I don't, it's glass. That is really cool. So I currently use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner, but when that runs out, I will be trying this and letting you guys know how it is. I'm very, I would say vanilla with my products. When I find something that I like, I just stick to it. So this is a good way for me to actually try out products because I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy different things. Um, next, we have this makeup product. So this is the Dr. Brand Triple Peptide Eye Cream. So I actually have Dr. Branded Pore Refiner Primer and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm really excited to use this. It's for all skin types. It's for wrinkles, dark circles, puffiness, eye cream, all that stuff. 
you apply in the morning and at night okay i'm so excited about this because i use the ordinary caffeine solution eye serum i'm almost through it but to be honest do not notice that it does anything so i'm excited to try something else out um next up i have this bally bomb sweet orange and coconut lip balm okay you know that TikTok of Flossie where she's like, okay, okay. That's what I just sounded like. I love her. Oh my God, that is so cute. I'm putting it on right now. Oh, and I love the applicator on it. You just squeeze it out so you don't have to use your hands. Oh yeah, guys, this is nice. <gasps> I already smell the coconut. Lately, I've been, just been wanting summer so bad. So this is gonna be preparing me. Okay, next up, I have two more products to show you guys. So the next one is this Sayate London, the Velvet Palette. It's a 12 piece eyeshadow palette. One thing you guys need to know is that I do not ever wear eyeshadow. I just do like bronzer because I just cannot bring myself to buy palettes because I, I have so many that I have in high school, which I should probably throw out thinking about that now because I've had them for like four years but i have so many palettes that i'm yet to go through so i just feel bad buying more so i'm really excited to have this because this is like a new current product oh my gosh i don't know why but the textures on it just make me really happy look at all like the little waves in it last thing that i have is this laura geller high def glow illuminating duo i love my highlighters so i'm super excited about this I guess they're both highlighters. They're just two different shades. So there's shimmer and sparkle. Very, very pretty. That is everything in my BoxyCharm box. If you guys are interested in purchasing and signing up for this subscription, I will have all of the details and everything linked down below. But you guys should definitely do it um, if you're a beauty and lifestyle lover. You get so much bang for your buck for $25 a month. But you guys, you should get the Lux one because you end up paying less over time. So you guys should definitely do that and you get more products, but I'm gonna have all of the information linked down below. Um, and let me know if you guys sign up. Let me know if you're already with BoxyCharm because I would love to know like your experience with it and how you love it. But yeah, I need to go edit a video now and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Good morning, happy Thursday. It is just after 10. 10.05 to be exact and I am just about to work out I'm not going to show you guys my workout, but I will have the one that I do link down below I'm just going to do a Heather Robertson workout. It's from a few months ago, but I'm tr just trying to do like a full body Weighted workout. I think I want to start doing like weights Tuesday and Thursday whether that's a dedicated day to legs or just do a combination of full body on those two days and then Monday Friday I'll just do like hit aerobic stuff Pilates stuff like that um, but I want to show you guys my outfit because I think I look really cute and it's making me really excited to work out um, I find having a cute outfit on it's just it just motivates me so much more to have a good workout so this little workout top is from garage um, they just came out with like an activewear line which is awesome and I've been wearing this non-stop, so it does come with a matching bra and matching leggings, but I kind of liked how it looked with an all-black outfit. Um, I'm also just wearing like a sports bra under from Lulu. And then I just have on this Nike hat that I've had forever. And the best part about this is it has the thumb cuff. What would you even call that? I don't know. And then I just have on these... Mia ladies leggings, but I got a size small. They fit me so nicely and guys are actually like so nice I love them and they have like the ruching right above your butt So it just makes your butt look really nice I don't know how that's gonna be with squatting though because there's like a seam there But I guess we'll find out <laughs> Hello guys, I've not talked to you in a very long time because I was filming a different video, but it's like four o'clock now and I just faked hand and everything that's for the video and I'm just going over to Jay's house. He's here to pick me up, but I'm in my Mayfair sweat set. I'll have it linked down below. Um, and I'm just going to continue. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm going over to Joe's house and um, I'll vlog if we're doing anything fun, but if not, I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow, but I'm really hungry. So maybe we'll get food or something because what else? 
would we do? <laughs> That shit hits. All I do is buy food. <laughs> At Jimmy's, obviously, and some chips and queso. Good morning, vlog. I think this is the first time before, or first time I've ever vlogged before eight o'clock. It is 7.56 right now. I just woke up and manifested a bit, and I tanned last night, so. I look very dark and it's needed. I used a different tan, I used Bali Body. So I'm working with them and guys, it's not too smash on Loving Tan, but it's actually way better. It's just my opinion. And it's a one hour express. <laughs> they just kind of put the cherry on top of that one. But I need to have some coffee and I really want toast with honey and peanut butter. So I'm gonna treat myself. Actually, it's not even that bad for you. I'm also, I need to make a candle. If you guys don't know, I like kind of sell them on the side. I have a, a account dedicated to it. It's Shop Baby Tay. I'm, I'm going to eventually change that into my clothing company, but I have that because I have so much wax that I need to get rid of. Um, but I kind of specialize in the female body ones and the clouds and stuff. I really need Instagram photos. Like, I have none. I have not had time. Like, how have I not had time? Here's today's menu. Natural peanut butter with honey, coffee, and the Yoko blueberry yogurt. These are so good. They're my favorite yogurts, and I have one multiple times a week. They're delicious. I'm going to eat this and then I'll kind of show you guys briefly how I make my candles. Not hard. Okay, mm. let's make some candles. I just kind of started this last week when my laptop was being prepared, <laughs> being prepared for something to do. So this isn't going to be like a thing that I'm doing all the time. But if you guys do want some, you can go over to that Instagram and I have some listed. But basically, I like to set everything up first. There's like a saying in cooking. Bingo. There's a saying in cooking. I don't know what it's called, but basically it just means having all of your ingredients prepared before so you're not stressed and grabbing everything and the time's ticking and everything. Hey Siri. What's it called in cooking when you have all of your ingredients prepared first? Mise en place, M-E-I-S-E-N-P-L-A-C-E. -E. I heard Maddie Bragg talk about that in one of her cooking videos and I just remembered that and now I literally incorporate that into everything I do because it makes such a big difference. But basically I have this cookie drying rack and I put that on the bottom. I used to put only this but then some of the candles were getting the lines from the wires in it and it looked weird. So my boyfriend suggested that I use pizza sheet because it has the holes in it. So it's literally perfect to hold the candles, which is crazy. So yeah, basically these are the little female body molds that I have. They're from Amazon. They're really hard to get out. <laughs> so they're kind of a pain in the ass. So basically you just have to puncture a hole in the bottom and then you need some of these cotton wicks. Um, I personally don't like these ones that much. I think when I run out of those, if I'm still making them, they sell like rolls of actual cotton. So I'm definitely gonna get that because it's easier to stick through without it breaking because it's already soft. Um, and then that way you can just lay it flat on the surface and the wick won't snap. Where this one I have to elevate it on something so that the wick can hang and won't and not break because it's like kind of waxy so it snaps. I just cut off these metal ends because those are meant for when you're doing it in a jar so that the wick stands up straight. It goes through pretty easy though. Mas en place. I don't know, that's so weird how I remember that. Then also I got these popsicle sticks that have a hole in them so I don't know if you guys saw what I did there but you just stick this through the hole and then let it rest so that the wick 
centered and then you just cut it off after so i take a small pot just it depends on the size of your candle burning pot but or i guess wax burning just a few inches like that and then you just turn it on high until it starts boiling okay the water is almost boiling now i'm just gonna put the wax in here i don't really measure i probably should but i just kind of eyeball it <laughs> Okay, so now that it's boiling, what you do is turn this down and put it at like two just so it's simmering. And then you just stick this in here. It's gonna make a lot of noise just because it's boiling water and this is cold. <laughs> you basically just wait for this to melt. Um, with soy wax, I had a lot of problems with it cracking at the bottom and like bubbles forming. And I researched it and it said you have to be really gentle with the soy wax because this is soy wax and you can't stir it vigorously and just you have to make sure it's at the right temperature when you pour it so pretty much just let it sit and i don't stir it that much so i'll come back to you guys when it's melted it normally takes like 10 to 15 minutes okay now that the wax is completely melted just turn this off and i like to move it out of the water over here because if not it's not going to cool because obviously the water is still hot if you want to make a scent you have to use essential oils so i just got this one off amazon it's lavender it's my favorite scent you guys know my sleep pillow like my sleep mist is lavender and it's just very relaxing and i like it i kind of just eyeball it too i just do like one whole syringe of this give it like a little mini stir like i said you don't want to be too vigorous with it I just got this thermometer off of Amazon as well. It's really easy to use. You literally just push the on button and then there's a Celsius or Fahrenheit button. So I just stick that in there and you're not supposed to pour it until it's at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooled past 140 and you literally just pour it in. So simple. I think I might have extra though. Okay, I do have a little bit extra and I have these like little clouds that are new. I already have this size, but it came, like I saw a pack with like a medium and a small one. So I'm gonna fill those up. Like I know this is gonna be so flippin' cute. Wick is so long. <laughs> literally the perfect amount how Django hair literally gets everywhere that's crazy how that was actually the perfect amount I'm so excited and that's that guys it is actually so freaking simple and you just wait for it to cool for like three hours hi angels look how good my tan looks I just did my makeup and everything and I look, not going to toot my own horn, but I am really feeling myself right now. But look what just came. My planner. I'm so excited. <sighs> Guys, the vibes are immaculate right now. I'm, I'm really cultivating the vibe in here. I can't believe how fast that came. I ordered it Monday and it's custom made. I don't think you understand how excited I am right now. Actually, you probably do. <gasps> Holy fuck. I heart coffee and getting shit done. Are you kidding me? The color, beautiful. Everything I wanted. I picked like a tan and then a brown color. Taylor Kruger, are you kidding me? Okay. I need to calm down and <laughs> post this on my Instagram and then I'll show you guys the inside. Okay, I'm back. But I'm gonna open this up. Maybe I should flip it so yeah. you guys can like see properly what I'm doing, but... This was inside of it, just like a bunch of random stuff. The page looks like when you open it. I got the neutral layout as well, obviously. <sighs> okay, so here's the yearly spread. I guess it started in July of 2020, but here we are. New beginnings, new mind. Oh, I love that. So I guess this is things, you could write your like New Year's resolutions in here. I actually might do that. Your intentions for the year. 
and oh my god okay my planner did not have the monthly spread which i didn't think that would bug me that much but it really does because i have to write down a bunch of like due dates for videos and everything and i just like to see my weeks and months laid out um so that's one thing i did learn about my planners it sucks that i had to waste the other one but guys it's, this is everything i need also oh i can write my video i the videos that i'm doing for the month on the left side here i can write some goals that i want to do sponsorships this is just incredible guys as you can see i'm very passionate about this or the weekly spreads i think i mentioned it in my last vlog but i got the vertical weekly spread so they also had daily or it would be the horizontal weekly spread which my last planner had two planners ago and i found I was running out of space to write things where this one gives you a lot more room because I don't need that much detail and everything. I can just write like emails, film this video, blah, blah, blah. And they also are sections so you can do work related, um, self care, um, personal life, all that stuff, which is really cool. And then you also have a notes and also shows you the month layout on the left. And that's what it looks like for every single week. And then when you go into the new month, so here's February, it's like the same thing. Oh, and I customized it, like I said. So I think before it said like, I heart friends and coffee or something like that. But I customized it to say I heart coffee and getting shit done. And I'll have the exact colors that I use linked down below. And then they also give you this like, oh my god, the sun shining through. I'm so happy right now. They also give you like one of these binder things. So you can mark where you are in the month which is amazing so you can just close it what even is the date today the 22nd so we're on the third week so you can just stick this in here like that oh okay i'm actually gonna fill stuff out right now i'm so excited definitely worth the money i'm so happy i invested in this if you guys are new and haven't seen what my current planner looks like this is just it it's so simple i thought i was going to love it because the amount of space that it had but honestly looking back at all of my weekly i guess my daily spreads um i didn't have that much stuff written down so i didn't need all this extra space like i thought i did um, where this is going to be absolutely perfect, but that's it like this is all is in the planner It doesn't give you like a monthly layout when there's a new month like it just goes right into February Wow <laughs> I don't know why but I'm just so beyond happy right now guys. Ugh. Okay, I'm just to go take Instagram photos. This is one of the photos that I featured in my recent fashion video of like what I would wear to blank and you guys gave me occasions but I have to vlog this because it's so funny but I forgot to put deodorant on oh no it's not a problem <laughs> these shrug tops are amazing I talked about it a bit in that video but they don't look practical but they actually are because sometimes a turtleneck can be way too hot so this you still get the warmth on your neck but then your armpits can breathe and they don't sweat. This is from Zara. This is Aritzia. And then I have all my Zara ottoman leggings and my mid AF ones. And I'm going to get Joe. Because he's going to take them for me. I'm going to clip it up just for now so that the wind doesn't wreck it and everything. And then I'll take it down in the photos. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. It's just after 10 o'clock right now. I'm waiting for Joe to wake up because he was drinking last night, so he's probably really hungover. <laughs> and um, when he wakes up, we're going to go visit his sister in Kingston, which is really fun. Um, and she's actually going to buy my side table. So I need to clear everything out, but I can show you guys which one that I'm thinking of getting. It's from Ikea. Why did I say that? So weird. Oh. <laughs> my little instagram selfie i have been seeing circle ones all over my pinterest so i looked on ikea and they have one and my bed is like very high as you can see so i also need a high nightstand to complement it and not make it look weird um so i found this one and I think it's really cute. It was kind of everything that I was looking for. I'm not like particularly a fan of that. 
um i'm gonna see maybe i can take it off if not it's like not that ugly i can live with it and i like that you can move both parts actual table and the container up and down as you can see they're all in different spots throughout this so i am going to order that probably tomorrow and pick it up but that is going to be the replacement just because i'm over this one and i don't really like the shape of it anymore i just kind of like the circle one especially with everything that i have on here i have so much like space here that i don't really need so i just need enough for this stuff and maybe that storage bin would be nice for like my sleep spray because i don't use anything here it's just like pretty much a junk holder so let's clear everything out and i'm probably going to give it a quick wipe <laughs> Also giving her this loving tan tanning mitt and the two hour express because she's been asking me for it for a while and I have my ballet body one now so I don't need any backups. Mm -hmm. 